Next, I'd like to talk about a few related functions I created by remapping keys on my keyboard. Firstly, I have a keyboard with a pretty small backspace key and the insert key placed right next to it. I found that I often end up hitting insert by mistake when I meant to hit backspace. So I remapped insert to behave as backspace. You can see that this even works with the on-screen keyboard if I click the insert key. My keyboard is also missing a sleep key. So I remapped the pause key to perform this function. It might not seem like much, but having a single key to press in place of clicking start, power, sleep is really nice. And I can press the key even if my monitor is turned off. Needless to say, I'm not gonna press this one to demonstrate it. Since I don't use my caps lock key, I also gave it a new function as a manual spelling correction key. For this one, it's easiest for me to just show you how it works. As I type in a web browser, which has active spell check, if I misspell something, I can hit caps lock and it will perform the right click operation and pick the top option. So as long as I've spelt the word pretty close to correct, the top result will correct to the word I wanted and I can keep both hands on the keyboard. As a bonus, if I type a word with incorrect capitalization, I can press alt caps lock and it will fix it. Taken together, these remat keys make up my fifth lesson. I took keys which I never used and gave them a new purpose, unique to my needs. If I go back to the slide with my print shop hotkeys, you can see the reason it's covered in tape is because all those are keys which I've given alternate functions or remapped completely.